Welcome back everybody, Brawlbent here. Today we are back in the forest, and today I want to start working on this area over here. Okay, so I'll quickly set up some fences right here, and then I'll put a rope down right there, if you can see it below my feet. So, one mistake that we made last time in Season 1 was we placed too many log holders in the... I forgot what I called it, it was like the docking port kind of area. Well, that did cause a lot of lag for my game. So apologies for the weather, but I'm going to quickly show you what we've got already. We've got the fence going on the front. We've got the rope going down here below my feet, if you can see it. We've got the other fence, and then we've got some storage here for some logs. Uh, I should probably add another one here, but oh well. Now this side, I'm probably going to have sticks and stone storage. So there we go. I'm thinking that should do for now. Three of each should suffice. Also, I've gone around building some rock walls. Just a few. I oh, can't bloody see so many. Just a few in between here, so they can't run through and not get hit. I think it just makes a little bit more sense, so the trap's right here. I've done that also for here, and here, and then I think somewhere else. Nope, that's it. So I'm going to go ahead, get all those built, and I'll see you once I've done that. Cheeky. Building effigies right next to my base. I think I remember when we came back from the cave base, that was we spotted a bunch of them, didn't we? I think we've got some attention coming. You can definitely hear them, I just don't know where they are. Uh, right, okay. Well, you heard them, right? I'm not lying, I'm not hearing things. They were definitely there. Oh, there they are, Jesus! I'm not wearing paint. They were praying and I'm not wearing paint, I'm wearing mud. Is that a bug? What's he doing? This is so strange. Did I glitch them out? Bye, have a great time. Jesus. Oh. <laughs> <gasps> oh crap. Where are you going, dude? There's like a massive building in front of you. Where'd the other guy go now? You idiot! Ooh, hello. Just randomly doing my own business and then uh, two traps set off and kill him. That's what I'm talking about. I can't kill this guy though. He's like glitched. Look at that, he won't attack me either. What the hell? <laughs> okay, we've got another guy just sitting here. I wonder what would happen if... Oh, whoa, what happened then? Can I not kill this guy? Okay, that, what? No, don't even think about it, come on. Don't be volleying over the fence again. Oh, I can st I can sleep again. It was because I had an enemy nearby. That's so peculiar. So he did count as an enemy. Well, that's good to know. So the last couple of episodes have been rather short. They've been about nine to ten minutes each, and I do want to address that. So I've pointed this out probably about six times in my videos, including my vlog, and it comes down to a few things. So the way I make my videos is I record for two hours straight. I aim for that number all the time, and then I take the footage and then put that into a video. But because of the way that I make my video, I chop out all of the other stuff that I don't. For example, if I don't speak for 10 minutes, I chop it out. I only put the interesting footage into the video. You're probably just going to say, well, just record for longer, but I really don't have enough time to do that. I wish I did, but I just can't. Okay, I'm just going to head down into the cave really quick. God damn it, it's raining so much lately. And I'm just going to grab some rope and cloth. So on a good note, a lot of these defenses seem to be working. Except that big open gap that I've got up here. At some point we will patch it up. It's just I'm really struggling what to fit in here, and I obviously traps, yeah, I get that. But it's just, it's a big area to have the same trap over and over again. I'm thinking maybe if I add a gate or something like that here, I'm not too sure. Okay, now I'm going to put a little bit of a hole on this, I've only got one left anyway, and then we're going to start filling it up. But what I'm going to try to do now is go around getting rid of some of these trees. Now I've already started here, but there's a few that I just haven't 
got, you know, the stumps and everything like that. I just want to clear this area out. So, just, to, I can get that extra bit of visibility. You know, I've gone through it before, you know what I mean. We just need to clear this area out. So, one thing that I really, really, really like about the happy birthday trap, in a cheaty way, not a legit love it in a game way, it's hard to explain, is that when I set this off, A, it works as a trap, but now it's been set off, it works as a wall for the cannibals that you can't get through. They cannot destroy these. So, at least I don't think so. So, it works as a trap, and then it forms a wall after it's been set off. So, I think it's a really cool trap to use. So, now they can't get through here, but they're going to try to go through here, and then get stuck in this trap, and then this trap will form a wall. It's cheaty, for sure, but I like it. Oh, hello. Boom! Get down! Oh, they all got through. I think he got stuck in that other trap. I wish you could store bones in stick holders too. That'd be really cool. Crap. So I think I've decided what we're going to do now is go ahead and stock up on all the things that we need. We're going to go get some more alcohol, we're going to get some more explosives, including the dynamite. Because we really need those. As soon as these are dead. <gasps> Damn. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Did someone say soda? We'll start with the weaker ones. Triggered. Check all the traps, make sure no one's stuck in there. Let's get that one back up, shall we? Holy crap, how many bones? Imagine making stealth bone armor. That would be cool. Okay, today is the day. We're gonna get some food and then head out and get all of. Oh, where's the platform? There it is. <laughs> We're gonna go and get all of our explosives back. Although I have no food at all. Let's get some food, shall we? Come on, you can do it. Ooh, get in! This is probably a really good time to destroy this old drying rack and build the new ones. I'm not sure what the icon's there for. Uh, okay. Okay, just heading into the dynamite cave. Did that go off twice? Just heading into the dynamite cave now. Should take us out to the sinkhole, where there's two crates. Oh, they've changed this cave as well. This, this must be cave three then. Because they said they added a bunch of floating... Yeah, these weren't here before. Doesn't look too different. The whole pattern's the same, the tape's here, right? Yep. I wonder if they fixed that bug with the passenger list. If we go back in there, the bottom left, there should be a notification that says new passenger discovered. But there's a dynamite anyway. I think, yeah, there's only one. I thought there was two. This one you can't open. So now we should be fully stocked up with five. Now, I was messing around the other day and I had a really cool base idea for this area right here. Now, I don't think anyone's ever done it before and it'd be really cool to see it done in a survival world. Is that a rock? Oh, it's a it's a bird. What did you do? Now, I want to do that soon, but I, I don't want to prevent building the ocean base any longer because I already said that I was going to build it. But trust me, this base would be really cool and no one's ever done it before, I don't think. So there's that to look forward to for the future of the season, I guess. Now let's keep an eye out for this passenger list bug on the way back in. Oh, I think they fixed it. Oh no, yeah, passenger, 10 passengers found. Yeah, that's the first bug that you can see on my 100 bugs video. Check it out with the link at the top right of the screen. And they still haven't fixed it yet. Very first bug on that list. At least I think. Maybe the third. Now, I haven't been through here, like, more than once. And if I dare... I was an armsy. I don't know if I dare. Let's take a look, shall we? Sorted. I'm trying to think where that exit takes us. Because this takes us back. I'm just trying to picture... Oh, is that north or...? Anyway, I don't have any fire arrows, so I'm not going to bother taking him on. 
Never mind, he's taking me on. Actually, if you stay right there, boyo. Stay there. Where do you think you're going? Where are you going? Damn it. Oh, okay. Chill, chill, chill. Look at this guy. Clueless. That was quite easy. Check out all the ar Oh my god. We lost two arrows. I think we must have overshot them. Oh dear. There's a lovely Virginia in here as well. I know it. I think there's a Virginia down there. Anyway, I remember climbing up here. Or climbing down, sorry, halfway in an episode. And seeing her. Yeah, I was looking down here and she was there. Do you remember? Well, she's not there now. Also, devs, you've got a massive hole in your cave. Realism. Two. <laughs> oh. In fact, I'm very quickly going to head back to the cave base. Seems we're already like halfway there. We might as well, you know? There's so many notifications at the bottom left. I wonder how high we can get the list. <laughs> okay, because we can, we're going to take the secondary entrance to our cave base. We're going to see if we can make it with 100 seconds. I haven't actually been through this entrance on camera yet, so this is the first time. Oh, easy. I don't think you need the rebreather after all. Skulls galore. Oh my god, I have hit the jackpot with this cave base. I didn't even know there was that many skulls there. Look at that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine skulls and an incomplete staircase. Let's get the fire on, shall we? Seems we're getting a bit chilly. Wow, it feels really good to be back here already. I really do like this base. So I guess while we're here, we might as well get some work done, right? I mean, we can't just visit and not do anything to it. That's a good start. Where's my log sled? I wonder where I left it. Oh, I left it up here, full of logs. At least I think I did. Oh, here it is, with no logs in it. Great. Technically, I don't really need to complete the build, because it looks okay as it is. But there's three logs missing above... So I'm thinking for the entrance here, trying to work on it just a little bit. Because it does need a lot of work. This I need to do something with this rock here, because it's kind of ugly. So I've set up a few armor stands that's going to have full bone armor. A for me to store it so I can use it, and just to make it look kind of cool. For the rest of it though, I really don't know what to add. But unfortunately guys, for today's episode we have run out of time. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like on the video, and if you've got anything you'd like to say about this episode, throw it in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching everyone, and I will catch you in the next video.